Hello! Today on Paper Power, we're going to learn how to make cardboard pulleys. My name is Mr. Sherman, and I'm part of the Modern Learning Resource Team at the Peel District School Board. When you're using a rope in combination with a wheel that has a grooved rim, it's called a pulley. A pulley changes the direction of a force, and when you use a lot of pulleys together in a system, it can be used to lift very heavy objects. For this build, you'll need safe and secure cutting tools, different kinds of adhesive, thin cardboard or cardstock, paper tubes, string, a pencil, a ruler, a wooden dowel or brass fasteners, and something you'd like to lift. As a safe maker, always consider using safety gloves and safety goggles. First, trace several circles onto your thin cardboard or cardstock. The diameter of the circles should be between 7 to 8 centimeters across. Next, cut your cardboard tube into three sections. Each cylinder should be between 9 to 10 centimeters in height. Take one of the three cylinders you just created. Cut it in half. You'll then have two 10 centimeter high cylinders and two 5 centimeter high cylinders. Now, taking the small cylinders, Start making cuts that are evenly dispersed around the top and bottom that are about one to one and a half centimeters in length. Fold out the small tabs you just created on the small cylinders to create a flange connection. Place these on top of the circles you traced earlier to make sure they fit and trim accordingly. Now cut out your circles with your safe and sturdy cutting tool. With the top and bottom tabs folded out on both of your small cylinders, Find the discs that have the best match. Using the small cylinder, trace the inner circle onto each disc. Cut out the inner circle on each disc that you just traced. Using your adhesive, secure each disc to the flange tabs on your small cylinder. Now that we've created the rimmed wheel or pulley, we need to create the axle that it will rotate on. Take one of the 10 centimeter cylinders you created earlier and make a cut all the way up one side. With the cut cylinder, measure about three to four centimeters and mark it off. Roll the cylinder to meet the mark you just created so that the diameter of the 10 centimeter cylinder gets smaller. Use your adhesive to secure the new shape. In the modified 10 centimeter cylinder, Make small one to one and a half centimeter cuts that are evenly dispersed at one end. Fold out the tabs in the modified cylinder so you have another flange connection. Now use your adhesive to secure this to a new surface, like a piece of foam board, a larger piece of cardboard, or a box. As an alternative axle to your rimmed wheel or pulley, you could use a wooden dowel. It'll be easier to construct but the connection will be looser on your second surface. Moving back to our modified cylinder that has now become the axle on our second surface, place the pulley or rimmed wheel that you created over top so that your pulley does not fall off the axle you just created. Consider putting a brass fastener, dowel, or even an elastic band around the end. This way, as your pulley rotates, it won't fall off the axle. Take your string and wrap it around your pulley several times. At one end of the string, secure the load that you've decided to lift. Pull the other end of the string to lift your load. Keep testing and modifying your design till it's perfect. And try out different combinations of pulleys to see what they do. Now that you know how to create your own cardboard pulley, Try making more in different shapes, sizes, and including them in different systems. We can't wait to see what you're going to create. Thanks for listening.